Well, my name is Mike Abramowitz, and I'm very excited to talk to you guys today. I'm going to have some fun with you. Is it all right if we have some fun with you? If we go ahead and allow you to figure out your life before this, my message is over. Is that okay? We really enjoyed having day. him out here. He got everybody interactive and really set some great foundation for goal setting and got our kids really involved. And listen to them. I would encourage any teacher or professor to bring Mr. Abramowitz to school talking about goal setting, positive attitudes, really a great influence, really some good messages to hear for any student, any profession, um, any subject matter, this is applicable and will be a great, great impact on us. Having Mike um, come to my class the last couple of years has been a great experience. Um, my students are still talking about the, the upbeat, the, the, the great potential he has, the motivation he gives, and how real his speech is, and they um, can't wait to hear him again. It's about impacting your life and other people's lives. It's about transformation. I just like how Mike motivates you and like breaks it down into small steps. So like it's very understandable. He's seeing enthusiastic about teaching us, and I just really like. What he talked about was really practical, and it's all stuff that we as students in high school can use. But however, we never hear about it, and we never really think about it. But come to find out, it's all stuff that is really important and can help us succeed. He was the best speaker I've experienced in high school out of all the speakers that I've seen or heard. He was the best and the most entertaining. Constant every improvement is not what you do because people are watching you. It's what you do because you have a genuine appreciation for people that are not watching us. Eventually, this present moment is going to be the past. So what are you convincing yourself of now that you're later going to say, I used as an excuse. And that one's counting. A group of volunteers spent their Sunday giving out peanut butter and jelly sandwiches in Largo. In all, they've given out more than 6,800 sandwiches. The effort called PB&J for Tampa Bay Feeding Frenzy. I think when people get together and give, they feel like they're making a difference, feel like they're making an impact, and then everyone deserves a meal. It's something simple, it's easy, and it gets everyone together, which is awesome. Right? Michael Abramowitz and the rest of these volunteers call themselves PB&J for Tampa Bay. Last February, they started meeting and made 350 sandwiches. We're like, let's do it again. So we did 500. And now? We made a lot of sandwiches, let's put it this way. 17,450 sandwiches before today. Thank you. God bless you. Alright. So that's about right there. What's your name? Truly. You guys hungry? Has spread. That makes me happy. It makes me proud. I got food. I know I can eat. I got enough. See? I got enough. It's not just a sandwich. It's not just a meal. It's more than just that. On the road in Pinellas Park. Mission 1000. I'm Bobby Lewis, 10 News, WTSP. You know what I understood? Is I don't want a sense of certainty anymore. That's what's been a crippling belief. That was a limiting belief for me. Because all the things I crave and desire were uncertain. I want to travel. I want to meet new people. I want to change lives. But I didn't know where to go. I didn't know who those people were going to be. And I had no idea what the result of those relationships were going to bring.